Hello and welcome to Wildlife Cam. This weird little creature is a bark katydid. It's not fully grown, they're a little bit more robust when they're adults and it's pretty well camouflaged and flattens itself nicely against the wall. The advantage of the pond being so close to where I stay, unlike the waterhole, is when something weird creeps across the camera at night I can go and see what it is and that's an adult bark katydid. The water scorpion there just close to the millipede is eating a beetle. I had to go to the pond to check what it was eating, you can't really see it clearly from the video. The scrub here on the right making a very rare visit to the waterhole but it doesn't last long. Bird activity is slowly starting to pick up. That's a, a female red-headed weaver there with the red-billed buffalo weaver. And the first blue waxbill in ages. Someone else is visiting a bit more often too, but not as aggressive as usual. Hasn't been picking the camera at all. This feisty little fellow hiding behind our dustbins is a baby Mozambique spitting cobra. They're still dangerous at this size. Uh, they don't in inject as much venom into you as an adult does, but you would still need to go to the hospital for that. Quite tricky to catch these tiny snakes because you can't really get a hold of them, so I just pushed the cooler box over and shepherded into it with my hand, which was wearing a glove. And as you can see, once once you let them go, they don't waste any time heading for cover.
If I stand in the waterhole or the pond for long enough, a tilapia will eventually come and start nibbling on my toes. And I think that's most likely what's bothering the hyena when they lie in the water and suddenly jump out. I mean, there are other creepy crawlies that, didn't, that are in there that might upset them, but it's probably the fish. And the pond fish are starting to get quite big. The only animals that came past the trail camera since Thursday. We had been cutting the grass along the roads, but the, the rest of the grass is so thick and the bush is so thick that the animals aren't all that interested in coming down here. This big bull elephant is deliberately aiming at those water lilies. He wants the mud that sits at the base of them. It's a very sticky, smelly black mud and very good for covering your body. If he was wanting to drink some clean water, he would drink from just below the surface. The lions were quite close last night. This was a female. It looks like she's being tasked with babysitting a bunch of youngsters while the rest of them went hunting. And they were still here the next morning, so that was a very long time for them to be lying there. 
but nice to lie on a smooth warm tar road and not in the bush with all the stones and insects. Redback Shrike enjoying its summer holiday in Africa. In a couple of months time they'll be heading back to Europe or Western Asia. The starling doesn't think there's space for more than one bird at the pond. And that's a young red bull buffalo weaver at the back there. It has a black beak, it hasn't fully grown up yet. Probably having its first bath. And we have several huge nests of these. They nest communally. And there have been quite a few youngsters coming out recently. Thanks for watching.